Hello, library friends. Super excited that it's a beautiful day and we can have story time on the deck at my house. I think let's start off with our hello song. I've been using this one a lot recently. We are going to wave to all our library friends. We're going to say hello. Hello to all our library friends. Hello to all my library friends. Hello to all my library friends. Hello, hello, hello. All right, I think I can clap with my library friends. I clap with all my library friends. I clap with all my library friends. I clap with all my library friends. Clap, 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 clap. That was great. Hmm, what else could we do? How about we wiggle? I wiggle with all my library friends. I wiggle with all my library friends. I wiggle with all my library friends. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, I think let's do one more. We're gonna roll our arms. I roll with all my library friends. I roll with all my library friends. I roll with all my library friends. Roll, 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 roll. Yay! Great job. Thanks for helping me with that song. I think now it is time for a story. For our book today, we are going to hear Stop Snoring, Bernard by Zachariah O'Hora. He both drew the pictures and wrote the words. And we are hearing this courtesy of Macmillan Publishing. Thanks for letting us share. Who knew that otters snored? You learn something new every day. There he is. There's Bernard. Stop snoring, Bernard. Bernard lives at the zoo. There he is, out on his island. Looks like he's sunbathing. I see he's got sunglasses, and it looks like he's got a little cup of pop. I don't think that's right. They don't give lemonade or soda to zoo animals, do they? Bernard loved living at the zoo. He loved mealtime and playtime. Look, they're having a game with the seals. And here he's having some fish dinner. He loved mealtime, playtime, and best of all, nap time! Oh, so many napping otters, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine napping otters. But there was one problem. Bernard snored loudly. One afternoon at nap time, Grumpy Giles had had enough. Snore somewhere else, Bernard, he said. Bernard tried sleeping in a lake, but that didn't work. Here he is. Look at how big that snore is. <gasps> oh my goodness. The crocodiles all say, stop snoring, Bernard. Oh, I would not want to make a crocodile mad with my snoring. <laughs> they came right up under him and knocked him out of the lake. He was too loud for them. He tried sleeping in a fountain, but that didn't work either. Oh my goodness, he scared the cardinal right out of that birdbath fountain with his loud snoring. I think it's getting bigger. Those letters look even bigger. <laughs> 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 
And here come the giraffes. They say, stop snoring, Bernard. Mm, they look pretty crabby too. They're glaring at him. He even tried sleeping in a puddle. But that really didn't work. Uh-oh. Whose cage do you think that puddle is in? Is there a clue here? Whose feet do you think those could be? That's right. It's an elephant puddle. <laughs> They're making that puddle even bigger. And they say, stop snoring, Bernard. Bernard was sad and lonely. He found a tucked away place, curled up by himself, and drifted off to sleep. <laughs> otters missed Bernard. They searched for him all through the night. They're calling out his name. Right here in red it says Bernard! Bernard! That's a very sticky page. The next morning Bernard woke up and saw hundreds of bats on the ceiling. Excuse me, he said. How did you sleep with all my snoring? We didn't, replied a bat. We were out all night, and now we're trying to sleep. So please don't snore here now. Bernard felt terrible. There wasn't any place he could sleep without bothering somebody. He trudged towards the zoo gate, but then he heard something. Oh, he's going to run away from the zoo. Oh, poor Bernard, he's crying. It was the other otters. We couldn't sleep without you, they said. And I'm sorry I yelled at you, said Grumpy Giles. Please come back. Look, those naughty otters have taken over the zoo staff scooter. And from that day on, everyone napped happily. Well, almost everyone. There's Grumpy Giles, still grumpy. He says, good night, Bernard. He's trying to cover his ears. There we go. I'm so glad that Bernard's friends decided it was more important to have their friend than it was to be bothered about his snoring. Next, it is time for a fun little rhyme about this time of year with the flannel board. Let's see here. Who do I have? I have... A robin, brown back and orange belly, and he's singing his heart out. <clears throat> In April, the robin began to sing, to tell the rabbit it was spring. The rabbit hopped and thumped his feet. He looks pretty happy. He looks like he's flying through the air. He hopped and thumped his feet to tell the deer that the air smelled sweet. Then that little deer ran with the bunny. Oh, bunny gets a ride to tell the duck that the sky was sunny. 
There's that duck. She's got a family. I see one, two, three little ducklings. The duck swam over with a quack. Where has my swimming duck gone? You'll have to take my word for it that the duck swam over with a quack to tell the cow the leaves are back. The cow let out a long moo to tell, yep, that's right, the horse that flowers grew. That horse went trotting down the lane through the birch trees to tell the rooster, watch for rain. There he is. Look at that fancy chicken coop that rooster has with a turret and everything. The rooster gave a mighty crow. Can you give a mighty crow? <coughs> to tell the mouse, there's no more snow. The mouse just made a tiny peep to tell the birds it was time to cheep. Mama bird and one, two, three little babies in the nest. Then all the birds began to sing. And who do you think that they're going to tell? Let's see. To tell the bears, wake up, it's spring. There they are, Mama Bear and her two little cubs and all of the birds singing their hearts out. I see one, two, three, four, five, six birds there, a bird here. There's our little mouse bringing his radish along. Hooray! It's spring. All right, we're going to end up with a fun action song that I've got some pictures to help us with here. Kind of a little flip picture thing. We are going to do bumping up and down in my little red wagon. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with the wagon and I'm going to just bounce in my chair here. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Okay, let's see what other kinds of transportation we've got here. I've got an upside down bright green tractor. Hmm. What could a tractor do? Hmm. You know when they are tilling up the soil to plant stuff in? Behind the tractor they pull a thing called a disc and it's got blades that go round and round and round and churn up the soil. So maybe we could do that. All right, let's try it. We are tilling up the soil in our bright green tractor. Tilling up the soil in our bright green tractor. Tilling up the soil in our bright green tractor. Won't you be my darling? There we go. Now we're all ready to plant. I think we can move on to another kind of transportation. A bright yellow taxi. I think let's give that taxi a horn and beep on it. Beeping on the horn in my bright yellow taxi. Beeping on the horn in my bright yellow taxi. Beeping on the horn in my bright yellow taxi. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> what, what could be next? <clears throat> oh my. 
It's a bright blue food truck. Mmm, now I feel hungry. I think we'd better make some pancakes and flip them in that food truck. Let's try flipping over pancakes in my bright blue food truck. Flipping over pancakes in my bright blue food truck. Flipping over pancakes in my bright blue food truck. Won't you be my darling? All right. I think I have one more. It's an ice cream bike. Oh, yum. Look at that giant. I thought it was an ice cream, giant ice cream cone. It looks like it's actually flowers, but it could be an ice cream cone. The fun thing about ice cream carts is they have a little bell to let you know that they're coming. So we can go ding, 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 ding. Dinging on the bell in my, what color is it? It's striped. Dinging on the bell in my stripey ice cream cart. Dinging on the bell in my stripey ice cream cart. Dinging on the bell in my stripey ice cream cart. Ding, 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 ding. There we go, and we are right back to our red wagon. Let's do it one more time. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? There we go. That was great singing. Thanks for helping me with all those transportation vehicles. Bumping up and down and churning up the soil, beeping the horn and dinging that bell. That was very fun. Thanks for coming to Storytime today. Remember to check the library's website, ChippewaFallsLibrary.org, or our, the library Facebook page for information on changing services. We've just added book bundles as a possibility, so give us a call if you would like a book bundle about a particular subject made up for you for curbside pickup. 715-723-1146, extension 2 or curbside at mycfpl.org. Thanks. See you next week, guys.